Hello and welcome to Ernie's Good Medicine. Thank you for tuning in, checking out this uh, video. And um, today in this episode, I'm going to do another round of uh, medicine from the jar. That's uh, Ernie's Good Medicine jar right there. And I'm going to pick out some topics and just uh, go for it and see what kind of humor comes out of it. And uh, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so I'm mixing it up. All right, here we go. Okay. This one talks about rhyming Starbucks names, you know, or it could be just be Starbucks title. Talk about the drink titles, right? I, I love Starbucks, but sometimes their their Italian menu is just a little too much for me, for my res mind to handle, for my my tongue, right? Macchiato, schmacchiato, hocus pocus, mocus, all these crazy Italian names, you know. And this, what's up with their sizes, right? We got the we got the trente, we got the vente, which is uh we got the the vente is large, right? We got a medium is grande, that's large, supposed to be. And what is small? Tall, right? What happened to tall? How come no fancy Italian name for that one, right? They should name it something, you know, Minuto or something, whatever. But anyway, and their names, man, confusing, right? My favorite drink used to be the, um, I can't even say it now, I, just, I can't even, it's, it's a tongue twister. It used to be something like the, oh, my light just went off. Paranito, yeah, I supposed to get about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, so Starbucks names, you know. We, they should, Starbucks should come up with a, a menu that's um, ethnic related, right? So if you're a white guy, you walk in there full confidence, right? Yeah, I'll take a uh, Tarantino Frappuccino, please. If you're a gangster, I'll take a Carlo, Carlo Gambino Frappuccino, put some ice in there, please, right? You know, if you're uh, if you're Latino, you walk in there like, hey, Charlie, I'll take the Odele, the Odele Latte, put some leche in there, right? <laughs> if you're a native, you walk in there, man, say, yeah, I'll take a Icky Hickey Passion Tea. Please, and uh, what sizes? They're all chubbies. Make them all chubbies because there's no sizes. There should be no sizes. Just make them all chubbies. Starbucks. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, here we go. Okay, this one. Firstborn kids. Now, some of you might be firstborn, right? If you are, I just want to let you know. I don't know if no one's ever told you, but firstborn kids... What they are is, what they is are, anyway, if you're firstborn, you are a parental experiment. Sorry to tell you, but it's true. That firstborn, man, that's how parents learn how to be parents, right? That firstborn, his hospital chart is a little bit thicker than his siblings. He's got more head scars than his siblings. Because, man, my firstborn... Bless his soul, he taught me how to be a dad, you know? And I, I remember when, you know, he's he's six two now. I remember when he was two six, right? And and be I mean beyond that, I remember when he was a little baby. First time being a dad, I didn't know what I was doing, man. I didn't know babies roll, right? I put him down on the couch to go answer the door. Boo, he rolled off. Oh shoot. <laughs> Sorry. Hush little baby, don't you cry. Mommy's gonna punch me in the eye. Right? You learn, you learn. I never did that again. Right? <laughs> That's firstborn, man, right? Firstborn, I didn't know you're supposed to change your diaper like every hour, man. His diaper full, all one diaper all day long, man, right? He'd walk, he'd, his back was just full, he was off balance, right? Firstborn, man, talk about diaper rash. Diaper rash, because I had no cash, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, okay, so firstborn, you're awesome. You are a hero to your siblings. You make life safer for them. Okay, back to the jar here. Here we go, CPR, hands only, right? We're talking about CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Doesn't stand for can't pee right, okay? That's something else. But CPR nowadays, I heard this, that it's only hands only, right? You don't gotta mouth to mouth, no more mouth to mouth. You just go for it with your hands only, right? If somebody go, goes down, man, you just hop into full confidence and start, start pumping away, man, you know what I mean? And they say that if you if you sing out the, the nursery rhyme out loud to keep in rhythm, row, row, row your boat will be just perfect, right? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream, right? But, you know, some of you are hardcore meddlers, man. You're, you know, you're metalheads. I mean, you don't want to be singing row, row your boat. So, Metallica's Enter Sandman will work just as fine, okay? Say your prayer, little one. Don't forget your son. <laughs> Imagine singing that song when someone walks in on you and you're on top of someone. Looks like you're you're trying to kill them, right? Say your prayer, little one. Don't forget your... What are you doing? I'm saving his life. Get back over there. You know? <laughs> hmm. 
Or what if you're not metal? What if you're hip hop? Okay, maybe um, now the song Box by Roddy Rich, right? E -oo. E -oo. E -oo. E -oo. <laughs> you might have to speed it up though. E -oo. E -oo. E -oo. E -oo. E -oo. Anyway, that's CPR. All right, another round into the jar. Okay, so this one here. <laughs> Tattoos, everybody's got one. Ain't that the truth, right? Man, everyone's got a tattoo, right? Back in the day, tattoos were unique. Not everyone had a tattoo. I mean, if you saw someone with a tattoo, you were like three things about them, right? Okay, man, that guy's unique, right? He's, uh, he's unique. He's tough, because you gotta be tough to get a tattoo. And three, probably on parole. Yep, it's got to be on parole. <laughs> but now, no. Everyone's got a tattoo. The uniqueness of tattoos is not in uh, that you have one or not. Now it's in the art of it, man. But everyone's got one. Even the skinny math nerd's got a tattoo, right? And check this out. That skinny guy had to walk into a tattoo parlor. We're talking, you know, you know, slender man skinny, skinny. And he had to walk in there and say, hey, tattoo guy, I want a tattoo. I want a dragon down my whole arm. Make it a sleeve of dragon, right? From, from head to tail, dragon, right? Skinny guy. And the tattoo artist is like, hmm, okay, dragon, huh? Hmm, I don't know, yeah, you're kind of skinny, hmm. Uh, is it okay if I just give you a lizard? Is that cool? <laughs> and the guy's like, lizard, okay, sure. Just don't make him the Geico Gecko, all right? <laughs> tattoos. You gotta be tough to get a tattoo, right? Those things hurt, man. I try to get one, man. As soon as that needle hit my skin, right? Just, ah, ooh, wait, that's it. I'm done. No more. That's it. No more. <laughs> How much do I owe you? Uh, just give me a nickel. You know, all I gave you was a dot, right? Gave you a period. Sure. There you go. Tattoos. <laughs> okay, one more round. That's it. Here we go. Into the jar we go. We got here. Okay. <laughs> that mom discipline, which I did already. So we're going to go ahead and put this one back in there. That's another episode. Here we go. Oh, my drinking days. I say my drinking days because my drinking days are over. Some of you, you're still in your drinking days. And hey, that's the way it is, man, right? But mind you, I've been sober 20 years. Uh, thank you for the applause. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I had to do it. I was allergic to alcohol. Every time I drink, I experience headaches. I experience nausea. I experience handcuffs, okay? Allergic to alcohol, man, you know? And in, uh, in this pandemic, you know, there's one thing that's been uh, reminding me of my alcoholism, my drinking days. And that's just, that's just hand sanitizer that it smells exactly like Jose Cuervo margaritas. Right? Every time I smell that, right? Oh my, you know, trigger, man. I'm like back in the bar. <laughs> right? Anyway, weird, weird ways of being reminded of my drinking days. Another thing that reminded me of my drinking days recently was the evolution chart. Right? The evolution chart. You've seen it. Science class. Right? It's got Homo sapiens down to a monkey or a monkey up to Homo sapien. The evolution of man. Right? I was staring at that one day. It's like, hmm. Something familiar about this. Then it hit me. The evolution chart represents one night of drinking for me, but in reverse, right? I will start off as a human being, sober. By closing time, I was that little monkey in the parking lot trying to get to my vehicle. <laughs> right, sitting at the bar, right? Like Caesar for Planet of the Apes. Somebody comes looking for me. Ernie, get home. No. Oh, Ernie is home, right? <laughs> Anyway, okay, that's it. Hey, I hope you had fun with this. Uh, good medicine from the jar. Join me again next episode. And thank you again for just tuning in, checking it out. Um, if this is before uh, July 28th, I'll be appearing again at Revel Entertainment in Albuquerque, New Mexico on July 28th, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Come check it out and get your laugh on. Until then, right, happy heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So... Make sure your hearts are happy and your spirits are not crushed. Okay, 
with that, see you later. Keep your joy.